When it comes to light, the, the right kind of light has a major impact on your health. And obviously the light that we want to be exposed to is sunlight because that's the light that humans evolved to for hundreds of thousands of years. And you've got all the colors of the rainbow and each of those colors does something different in the body. It's kind of like each color is almost like a nutrient in your food. And then you have colors that you can't see, colors like UV light, which is a very small percentage. It's, it's one to two percentage of sunlight. And then you have infrared light. So UV and infrared, you can't see, but you can feel, and they also have a biological effect on the body. So when you think about all the frequencies in there, you know, when we go from 250 to 780, and you look at all of them, you're like, God, that's so many freaking frequencies. And each one of those frequencies does something different. And you know, when you think about a cell, you know, we have uh, 100,000 uh, biochemical reactions per second in a cell. And you go, what the hell can control that? Only thing, that, there's only one thing, light. And what I always explain to my patients about light and therapeutics with light is that there's basically three different areas of the electromagnetic spectrum of light that we really want to pay attention to that have different therapeutic properties. There's red and infrared light, there's visible light, and then there's ultraviolet light. So red and infrared light is where I always start. And I you know, begin by pointing out that you know, 40 something percent of sunlight is infrared. A significant proportion of it is then red. They're what we know to be the most powerful healing and regenerative frequencies. It's producing melatonin in the skin. It's helping maintain healthy skin. It's helping to reduce photo aging. It's going to be used to help produce ATP in people's muscles, and it's going to help time their circadian rhythms and all these different health benefits, right? But you know, we know that the way that, that the sunlight works with the skin is that in the morning you have more red and infrared light, and it helps precondition the skin to prepare it for the stress of bright, visible, and ultraviolet light during the middle of the day. And then at the end of the day, ultraviolet and, and, and blue and green light wane and red and infrared pick up again, which would help it to heal. Let's start breaking down ultraviolet light. UV light is not just UV light. There's three different uh, frequencies or, or bands. There's A, B, and C. UVC, we don't find on our, on our planet because it's blocked by the ozone layer. UVB light, produces vitamin D, UVA light causes you to tan and stimulates alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone and other effects on your neuroendocrine pathways. And they just need to realize they're not getting this in their indoor environments. And the challenge today is most of our jobs have moved indoors and we're spending 90% of our waking hours indoors under artificial light. And in the past 20 years or so, that light has radically changed. So when I was a kid, most of the light bulbs in my home were incandescent lights. I spent a majority of my time playing outside. My first computer was a Commodore VIC-20 and the video games weren't that good. So while I did play some video games, I wasn't spending hours playing video games. Most of my time was spent outdoors. And now we move into our modern world where we have all these new modern lights, these energy efficient lights, which are radically different than the lights that my generation and generations before mine grew up with. And the frequencies of these lights is very different. And so let's talk about visible light. In nature, blue and green light are present in abundance during the day and they time your circadian rhythms. The more visible light you get during the day, the brighter intensity, the better time your circadian rhythms are. It's also the stimulus for the production of hormones and neurotransmitters. So the more light you're getting specifically in your eye, the higher statistically speaking, your hormones and neurotransmitters are going to be. The problem is that if you are constantly being exposed to artificial light at night, it's telling your brain that it's daytime. And we've essentially taken a very narrow portion of that spectrum of light. And it turns out that spectrum that they're using when you're getting that in isolation, it has some very negative effects on your health. And one of those effects is it completely messes up your sleep. So blue light, it turns off your body's production of melatonin, which sinks your circadian rhythm. And you need melatonin to get into a deep restorative sleep. And the, the data is just piling up and piling up year after year after year. And so the writing's on the wall for, you know, blue and green light at night being a human health hazard that has to be avoided. That not only does it mess up our sleep, it raises our blood sugar. It does all these different things to our body. It actually causes inflammation, not just in our eye, but it also causes inflammation in our skin. And we actually evolved having detectors 
in our skin to tell us when we've had too much light exposure. So for example, if we go outside on a nice sunny day and we get too much sun and we pay attention, our skin turns red, right? And if we don't pay attention to the color, eventually we feel it. It gets very painful, we get a sunburn. But when you're indoors all day under these artificial lights, these fluorescent light bulbs and LED light bulbs, that blue light is causing inflammation, but it causes, it penetrates deeper into your skin and it causes inflammation in your fat. And we did not evolve getting just blue light on its own. So we get this inflammation, which actually lasts longer than the inflammation from UV light and, and we can't even feel it. And that inf inflammation, one way to look at it, a very simple way to look at it is inflammation is the enemy of energy production. So the whole, the whole point of learning a lot of these things for a lot of people is because they want to make more energy. You do that with your mitochondria. So when you're exposing yourself to the wrong kind of light, guess what? You're actually decreasing your body's ability to make energy. And another analogy I like to share is it's kind of like if you take an apple, for most of us, that's a healthy thing. And if you want to get super geeky, if you have a local apple when it's in season, that's a really healthy thing. But if you were to extract all that sugar from the apple and just eat that sugar, is that still a healthy thing? And that's kind of the same with the with our lighting because we have just blue light out of all these other colors. And when we have that on its own, it's not a healthy thing. And it's really behind a lot of, a lot of these um, health issues that we're seeing in the modern world.